Hello there, Sir Fancy here and let me start by showing you what you can learn in this tutorial. Let's say that you wanna get that trophy, but it's behind the glass, so what you will do, of course, to go there and punch that glass, you destroy it, hear absolutely weird sound of explosion while breaking that glass, taking your trophy and being happy with the tutorial and pressing the like button. Alright, let's get to it. I'm going to start a new project and it will be in version 4.25, but it should work in most versions if you have newer or probably a bit older one as well. Okay, and let's start a new game and it should be virtual reality right here. Everything set to blueprint, maximum quality and make sure that you start with starter content because we are going to use some of this stuff. And let's call it, okay, glass breaking stuff stuff. Now it finally loaded. Uh, in my case it took almost two hours to load. Uh, it's possible that it was the same in your case. It seems like with 4.25 opening projects sometimes just takes so much. So here in content let's go to virtual bl uh, reality blueprint blueprints and oh no what am I doing? Virtual reality BP maps and motion controller map. Hey now we can test it play with it blah 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 but that's not why we are here. Why we are here is to create breakable glass and some assets that you can use. So first of all, let's go to starter content, architecture, should be right here, and put here something we can hide things behind. It will slowly compile shaders, etc, etc, we can ignore that for now. Okay, now when we have this ready, you can, you need to create breakable glass. For that let's go to edit plugins and somewhere here should be apex which we need to enable and restart editor again. I promise this is last time, I hope so, I really hope. Okay, again you need to open it, so virtual reality BP maps, um, motion controller map and you can see that everything here is ready and just we don't need, have to bake everything, let's switch it to movable. If you are making a regular project and want to make bake proper lighting, uh, you can switch it to static or stationary. Right now I will leave it just in this movable and put here another cube. So we have something we can put there. And now let's actually finally do something with the apex we have enabled. So let's go to starter content, architecture and use for example this wall 400 to 400. And the uh, first thing you can see, it doesn't have any collisions. Collisions frames are up to zero, so open it. And to do, add here a regular collision. We can actually really check if it has any collision. Seems like it doesn't. Simple collision needs a complex collision. So we simply will click on collisions and add another capsule collision. That's a pretty stupid idea. Add box collision. Now that seems just fine. Save it. And you will probably have to save everything to see it if, yes, it now has collision frames to one. So right click on it and create destructible mesh. Okay, let's look at it from side. Seems just fine, but before we will actually do anything with that, let's change its material. And that material will be glass. Just glass. Duh. And as I, as I wanted to say, we are importing that from starter content. Uh, let's just open it before it will fully compile and click on color class and change it a little bit to bluish color because it will look a little bit better and we will be able to actually see it in uh, the guess, game. So apply and now let it just compile all the shaders, it will take a while. Alrighty, it's almost done on my end. So let's click on that wall and put uh, here uh, this. Oh damn, I applied it with something I didn't want. Okay, let's switch it back with this arrow and click on this wall. Where we can, oh, you know what, we will actually set material later. Let's just do this destruction stuff. First thing we will enable is enable impact damage and other thing is uh, add more cell side count because we want it to be destroyed on a lot of different pieces. Let's set it to 100, fracture mesh. And that looks almost like if you were breaking some kind of glass. Seems fine by me. Okay, let's close it. And we will have to create new blueprint for that. So let's go to content, virtual reality BP, blueprints, and add here a new blueprint. That blueprint will be just some kind of actor. And we are going to 
call it breakable breakable glass. Is that how you? Oh, not important. Go to add component and add here uh, destroyable or destructible, of course. And compile it. And in here, indestructible mesh, set the only one you have, wall 400 to 400. Compile it. And it won't probably show that seems to be some kind of bug. Make sure that you save all. And now you can just put it here and it should show up. Yep, it does. So now, if you just open it again, it should be there. Again, seems like just some kind of bug. Yes, that's how it is. So change this element first on your glass. So we are actually breaking glass and it will compile again. Thank you, Unreal Engine. That's wonderful. You are doing your job. Scale it down a little bit and let's move it here. Move it just to this space. Okay, and now I would recommend you to scale it in a side blueprint. Even though in this case it doesn't matter that much because we are going to be using it only in this particular case so you can scale it here but uh, usually it's better to scale it in blueprint because it will scale all instances of this blueprint so let's scale it up and let's say we want it to be high okay that's probably too much yeah that's definitely too much so let's set it uh, right now it's to 0.5 so let's go for 0.4 that should work just fine Put it a little bit up, save it all, and in a while we will have here glass. It's compiling, you know? Thanks, Epic. Anyway, in the meantime, we can actually put here some object that we want to pick up because you don't want to break glass line and just like that. Okay, you want to break glass just for the sake of breaking glass, but let's say that you actually want to get something which is behind that. So what I would do is to take this BP pickup cube in blueprints, duplicate it, call it pick up underscore object, and we will simply put here different mesh. First of all, let's click on this arrow again, and somewhere here will be definitely something interesting because we have whole. Okay, we are not going to scouch. You have whole starter pack. What about this statue? That sounds about right. What do you think? I'm afraid it will be a little bit too slow because by basic that cube is set to 0 0.2 and you can see how big that is. So let's set it to 0 0.5 and make sure that our instances are changed as well. Let's just lock it for the next scaling and put it right here. I can see that we have already glass. Okay, put it here because that's what we want to pick up afterwards. We will destroy this thing. Why I have copied this, uh, if it is not obvious, is because I have already set up this code for picking up and dropping item. So let's test it out in VR. Okay, now in VR, everything is as always. And you can see that if I put my hand into fist, I, can, I should be able to break this glass. So let's try it out. And it seems like it works just fine. It's somewhere here on me. Main mechanics works, but that's not everything I wanna do. Let's make it a little bit more interesting. Here in breakable glass, let's open it. And there is a specific function we can use with uh, destructibles. If you scroll down, but after clicking on that, you can see on component is touched, which is exactly what we did. We, uh, we touched it a little bit. So let's click on it and create this event. And from that, first thing we want to do is to play sound. Play sound and location, and our location will be hit point. Because that's where it was hit, where will prob sound probably spawn to do. And let's add here just some explosion. Sound of breaking glass would be probably better, but I'm not really sure we can do that here. So let's do explosion. And as I said, next thing we are going to do is to add impulse, because we want it to fly somewhere. So what we will do is to add, take here this destructible, take it from here and add radial impulse. Okay, that's great. Put it down here because I don't want it to cross. 
and origin will be again this hit point you can of course take it from here or if you want it to be a little bit more organized double click on any link and connect it like this and just by double clicking try to create something that looks actually good Oh, look how organized it actually is. So first thing we are set is this radius, which means uh, how how big a radius from the space you actually hit it will be where the force will be applied. And we actually don't want zero. Let's go with thirty. And with this, you probably have to just experiment how you want it to look like. And strength, let's set to hundred. Will be probably too little. Let's try five hundred and see what it does. Compile. And test it again. Beware because there will be some sound. Punch it. Yeah, that seems just fine. Okay, <laughs> look at that. It's kind of weirdly jumping, as you can see. But you could see that some of these glasses were flying towards that. Yes, there are some weird glitches with physics, as you can see. It would prob I think that the main problem is actually that we, that we were scaling that mesh. Uh, as I said, I believe that the uh, biggest problem was because we were scaling that mesh. Physics usually doesn't react very well if you are scaling, whatever. So let's try to dissect it. It won't look that good, but what we can do, we want it to be physically correct, right? And let's set it to... 0.25 well it's not necessarily that much of a problem that we were scaling it the problem is that we weren't scaling it uniformly so let's try it now and the other thing we can do is if you click on that breakable glass of course add strength because that was very weak you want it to fly a little bit more and to do go into destructible open it and you can, for example, add more Voronoi count. Let's try fracture it again, and that should help as well. Okay, and let's test it out one last time, hopefully. Okay, now we can see that it's reacting much better. Well, first of all, glass is absolutely everywhere. It, it's destroyed here. Everything is beautiful and fine. I like destroying stuff. <laughs> and... You can see that there are no more weird glitches with what well, what is with my hand. You can see that there are no more any weird physics glitches. Maybe there will be some if I will just move it. No, it seems actually pretty fine. It's reacting. Oh, that hurt. It's reacting very well. So the problem was really with scaling. I know that I shouldn't be figuring it out with. Uh... Oh damn! That jumped through the tutorial but uh, hopefully at least at least now you can see how debugging works as well <laughs> okay that's about it i hope that this kind of tutorial was helpful for you let me know what other kind of vr tutorial would you like to see and that's about it if you have any question or just want to show me what you did join the discord and press the like button all this funny stuff surf and say out